we would like you to start Garden CAD by clicking on that icon on the desktop. You'll come into this environment. You may well find that the screen is is not maximised as I've done here. Just click on the middle button here and maximise. What we'd like you to do in this first exercise, we want you to put some planting symbols in this area. There's a footprint of a house there and a, a garden area out there. So let's imagine we were wanting to put some landscaping here. Maybe we wanted to put a little symbol along there to represent some edging. Double click on track, double click on distance down there and you'll see why that's important in a moment but all we want you to play with is planting and blocks. Get some familiarity with putting, selecting a symbol, let's pick that one, let's move it from there, put it down as though it's, we're going to use it as an edging plan. We'll select it, we, everything in Garden Cat is done with the left and right mouse button. Select it with the left, right click, pick scale, mark a point in the middle there and make a tiny little symbol, a little edging plant. We'll click on it, move it into position by clicking on the middle of it there, like so. Now we'll right click and copy it. I'll scroll down a little because we'll do a row of edging plants. Specify a base point. I'm looking down here in the command area for some instructions. Click there. As long as the yellow polar shows as I swing my mouse, they all of those will be placed in a straight line. So you can see I'm putting them in position. If you don't like the rigidity of that layout, you can click on any one and rotate, click in the middle and just sort of spin it around so you can very easily rotate again. You can very easily, whoops, I've picked move there. Select the symbol, rotate, click in the middle and spin around again. So I'm changing the orientation. If you want a little more variety, right click, left click and then scale. There's nothing to stop you scaling that up just a little bit to get a bit of variation in your design. But all we want you to do here is simply experiment with clicking on the planting, click blocks. Make sure you see that we've got some 80 or 90 symbols all pre-drawn for you and you can bring those symbols in. They come in at a diameter of a metre. I'll move that one over here and that you can scale it by could be a grass tree. We scale it by clicking in there. We can double its size so it's a relatively tall Sansaria sitting in that corner. So you can, you've got plenty of symbols to play with. Your first task is to landscape the rear of that area, giving you some experience with doing garden design using CAD software.